Hello students, in this video I am going to discuss about chemical equation and how to balance it. Now what is a chemical equation? A chemical equation is a statement that describes a chemical reaction in terms of symbols and formulae. When magnesium reacts with oxygen, it forms magnesium oxide. Now if I write this statement in terms of symbols and formulae, then it will be Mg, that is magnesium, reacts with oxygen, O2, it forms magnesium oxide, that is MgO. Now in this reaction, this part is called reactants. And this part is called products. Now in this equation, the substances, here it is magnesium and oxygen, that take part in the chemical reaction, these are called reactants. And the new substance, or it may be substances, whatever is formed, are called products. Now if you observe, you will find that number of magnesium atom in the reactant side and the product side, both are same. Here also one atom of magnesium, here also one atom of magnesium. But if you see oxygen, here in the reactant side, number of oxygen atoms are 2, whereas in case of product side, number of oxygen atom is 1. That means number of atoms in the reactant side and number of atoms in the product side are not same. Now this type of reaction actually violates law of conservation of mass. Now to make the equation more meaningful, we have to balance the equation. That means we have to make number of atoms in the reactant side and number of atoms in the product side same. That means here if it is one atom, here also there must be one magnesium atom. If there are two oxygen atoms, this are also, it must have two oxygen atoms. Now, if you count the number of atoms in the reactant side and the product side, suppose in case of magnesium, in reactant side, it is only one atom. In the product side also it is one. So both are same. If you consider oxygen, in case of oxygen, in the reactant side it is two but in the product side it is 1. Now to balance oxygen, we need to multiply product side by 2 because if I multiply this one by 2, then this 2 will be same. Now we can write this reaction as Mg plus O2 gives twice MgO, twice MgO. And just remember, the numbers should be written before the formulae of the reactant or product just like coefficients in an algebraic equation. So these two you cannot write here. So now Mg plus O2 gives twice MgO. If you count the number of atoms in the reactant side and product side again, for magnesium in the reactant side it is 1 and in the product side now it is 2. Whereas in case of oxygen in the reactant side it is 2, in the product side also it is 2. When we write 2 in front of magnesium oxide, that means 2 magnesium atoms and 2 oxygen atoms. There are 2 oxygen atoms in the reactant side and 2 oxygen atoms in the product side. Now just see magnesium is not balanced. That means we need to multiply this one by 2, then only it will be same. So if I multiply this magnesium by 2, then I am going to get twice Mg plus O2 gives twice MgO or magnesium oxide. Now if you count two atoms of magnesium in the reactant side, two atoms of magnesium in the product side, two atoms of oxygen in the reactant side, two atoms of oxygen in the product side. So number of atoms of both the elements are same in both the cases. That means equation is balanced. I hope this one is clear. Let me give you another example. Now in this reaction, iron reacts with steam and it forms magnetic oxide of iron and hydrogen gas. Now if we write in terms of symbols and formulae, then iron will be Fe plus steam will be H2O. Magnetic oxide of iron is Fe3O4 and H2. Now this equation is not balanced. As you can see, number of atoms of iron in this side and in the reactant side, they are not same. So first of all, we will count the number of iron hydrogen and oxygen in reactant side and in the product side. Now if we count iron, hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the reactant side in the product side, in the reactant side iron 1, hydrogen 2 and oxygen 1. In the product side iron 3, there are 3 atoms of iron, hydrogen 2 
and oxygen four as you can see here iron hydrogen and oxygen all are unequal now from where to start now out of this biggest formula is fe3o4 so it is better to start from this point now in this side iron is 3 whereas here it is 1 since here it is 3 here it is 1 it is better to multiply it with 3 okay out of this 4 this is the biggest formula so it is always better to start from this point here iron is 3 here iron is 1 so we need to multiply this iron by 3 now after placing 3 in front of fe 3 Fe, here also 3 Fe, that means iron is balanced, but if you see oxygen, it is not balanced. So again, we have to count the number of atoms on both sides. Now, iron, there are 3 atoms, so iron is 3, hydrogen, 2, oxygen, 1. Here, iron 3, oxygen is 4, oxygen is 4, and hydrogen is 2. Now, iron is already balanced. Hydrogen is also balanced, but oxygen is not balanced. In the product side, oxygen is 4. Here it is 1. So we need to multiply it by 4. After placing 4 in front of water, now iron is 3. Here also iron 3. So in the both the sides, iron is 3. Here oxygen is 4. Here also oxygen 4. So oxygen 4 in both the cases. Here hydrogen is 4 to the 8. Here it is 8. For here it is 2. Now almost done. We just need to multiply this hydrogen by 4. Then it will become 8. So after multiplying this hydrogen by 4, I am going to get 3 Fe plus 4 H2O gives Fe 3 O4 plus H2. And just because we have multiplied by 4, 4 we have to place it here. Now you can check that 3 atoms of iron, 3 atoms of iron, 8 atoms of hydrogen, 8 atoms of hydrogen, 4 atoms of oxygen, 4 atoms of oxygen. That means number of atoms here and number of atoms here of all the elements are same. That means the equation is now balanced. Let me discuss another equation. Now here silver nitrate solution is reacting with aluminium metal and it forms aluminium nitrate solution plus silver metal now if you write the reaction it will be ag no3 silver nitrate is reacting with aluminium al it will form aluminium nitrate al no3 3 plus ag now, if you count the number of atoms on reactant side and the product side, you can see silver is same in both the cases. Aluminium also same, but nitrate radical is not same in reactant side and in the product side. So, if you count the number of atoms on both sides, here we have considered silver, then nitrate radical, because it is a radical, we can consider together and aluminium. Silver in both the cases 1, so we can write 1, here also 1. Nitrate in this case NO3 group is 1 whereas here nitrate radical is 3 and if you see aluminium here it is 1 here also it is 1. That means we need to multiply this one by 3 in the reactant side. If we multiply this one by 3 then I am going to get 3 Ag NO3 plus aluminium it gives aluminium nitrate NO3 3 plus silver now you just see silver atoms here 1 whereas here it is 3 that means silver is not balanced so we have to now balance silver now you check silver in the reactant side it is 3 so silver is 3 whereas silver here is 1 nitrate how many 3 here nitrate also 3 aluminium here it is 1 here also it is 1. That means we need to balance silver. For this we have to multiply this one by 3. That means in the product side silver we have to multiply by 3. So after multiplying silver with 3 I am going to get 3 Ag NO3 plus aluminium gives aluminium nitrate plus Ag and just because we have multiplied this one by 3, so here it will be 3. Now just check 3 atoms of silver, 3 atoms of silver, aluminium 1, aluminium also 1, 
and this nitrate radical as i told you you consider this one is a group NO3, how many? 3, here also NO3, 3. That means number of atoms on both the sides are same. So, the equation is balanced now. I hope how to balance a chemical equation is now clear. As there is no ready-made process, so you have to go for trial and error method. Okay, try few more. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.